And here's the video review for Transformers Generation 1 Bumblebee. Um, as you can see, he's quite small. Um, he doesn't fill up as much of the screen because he's one of the mini bots, not very big. Um, little Volkswagen Beetle, got rubber wheels. And he's got this little panel back here that covers his head, but um, it makes it kind of look like one of the old pullback penny racers I used to play with as a kid. And maybe I'm dating myself by saying that, but they used to have little pullback cars that looked like this. They were kind of cartoony, and this had this little thing back here where you slipped a penny in. And when you pull it back, the penny, it would be enough weight to make it do wheelies and spins and tricks and stuff. But anyway, um, this is actually the very same Bumblebee I bought at, was, I can't remember if it was J.C. Penny or Sears, way back when I was a child. Um, this was my very first Transformer ever. I still have it, and I'm very proud of that. The transformation, very simple. Pull the bumper out, flip, and flip the feet up, I'll pull out the arms, and flip up the head, and you're done. There is Bumblebee. Okay, not a whole lot of posability, his arms move, that's about all you're going to get realistically. Um, he has become a somewhat popular character. Um, always has been, but I mean, especially with the movie coming out and now animated on the air. Um, so he's gotten a few upgrades. Um, here he is compared to his classics self. You can see, you can see the size difference already. And uh, here he is compared to uh, movie Bumblebee. So, quite an upgrade from the small little minibot he was originally. Um, I like him. Again, I grew up with him. I've kept him for, uh, geez, 25 years now, so um, or close to it. So definitely a special place for him in my collection, Generation 1 Bumblebee.